The Refine Edge tool is a tool designed to work in conjunction with the Roto Brush tool. And if we look at our current project here, you can see I've got a waterfall. And if I toggle my switches and modes here and turn off the effects, you can see this is the original waterfall. And when I turn my effects back on, you can see I've created an initial Roto Brush selection. To double check that, I'll go ahead and double click on layer one to open it here in the layer panel. Now, in the bottom of the layer panel, you should see this purple line here letting me know that the propagation is frozen. I did that so everybody had the same selection that I had originally created. So since the initial Roto Brush selection was created and I want to modify it by using the Refine Edge tool, I'm going to come over here and click the Freeze button to unfreeze those frames. Now it'll go ahead and reanalyze what's going on in the scene. Now, I'm only working on one second of the video because the workflow is the same whether you're doing one second or multiple seconds. So let's start by going up to our Roto Brush tool here and clicking and holding and choose the Refine Edge tool. Now, if I look in the composition panel here, you'll see the edges need help. That is a very rough selection. So I'll make sure I'm in the layer panel here. And with my Refine Edge tool selected, if I need to change the brush size, I can hold down Command on the Mac or Control on Windows and click and drag up or down. I'm going to choose a brush around this size and I'll just click and drag around the edges of my selection, like so. Then I'll go ahead and let go, and you'll notice it's gonna take a second, but now I get a black and white representation of transparency where it's analyzed the edges and refined them. So I like this, I wanna go ahead and search the rest of the frames in the span, so I'll press the space bar and let the analysis happen. Now it's gonna take a little while to analyze these frames because what it's doing is rather intensive. So through the magic of editing, I'll rejoin you here in a couple of seconds. Once all the frames in the span have been loaded, you should notice playback speeding up significantly to give you a good preview as to what's actually happened with the refined edges. Now this looks pretty good in the layer panel, but let's go back to the composition panel. Now you can see the edges of the waterfall look a lot better. Let's press the space bar to watch these frames inside the composition panel. And as you can see, it's doing a pretty darn good job. Yes, I have some black pixels around the edges, but we can fix that here in just a moment. All right, I'm gonna press the space bar to stop playback. And with layer one selected, I'll toggle my switches and modes, and I'll change the blend mode from normal to screen. And that's gonna cut out a lot of the dark pixels. Now I'll select that layer and press Ctrl D on Windows or Command D on the Mac to duplicate, and I'll change the uppermost duplicate from screen back to normal, and I'll press T to open the opacity, and I'll crank that down to something like 23 or 25%. Now this looks much more like a clean selection. So to resize this and position it, I'll go to the parent and link column, Click on the pick whip and point it to the lower layer, which is layer two. And I'll select layer two and press S to open the scale. And I'll just click and drag to scale it down. And once I get something that I think might work, I can go ahead and reposition the element in the scene. I just wanna make sure to grab my selection tool first. And here I'll make sure my scale is set to something like 50%. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and just position this like so. There we go. You know what? I'll do 55%. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Position it, and we can press the space bar. And you can see the Refine Edge tool has definitely taken the initial Roto Brush selection and added much more realism to it by analyzing the edge pixels and creating those fine details that could really only be achieved with that tool.